Hey, and welcome back to part two of this video series about protein sources and meal prep for vegans. If you missed part one, I definitely recommend that you watch that before delving into this one. In the previous video, we shared what high protein sources are for vegans and certain ingredients. I shared some tips and resources and we did a whole bunch of protein packed meal prep. Now in this video, we're gonna use those meal prep items to create some high protein meals. Now all of the recipes I'm gonna be sharing in both of these videos, the exact measurements can be found on their respective blog posts. Again, links for all of them can be found in the description box below as well. All right, let's get started. Let's begin with bento box number one. We're gonna make this pasta with vegan bolognese sauce using the tofu chorizo we created together in the last video. We'll start by cutting up the veggies, some onion, garlic, and bell pepper, as well as some artichoke, sun-dried tomato, and cherry tomatoes. Next, we'll cook the pasta, and for some extra protein, I'm gonna be using this penne made from green lentils, making it gluten-free as well. Now on to making the sauce, we'll add the olive oil, onion, and garlic to a pan on high heat for a couple minutes before adding the vegan chorizo, bell pepper, artichokes, sun-dried tomato, and some green olives. Then we'll saute this for another couple minutes before you add some of your favorite pasta sauce, and we'll add some tomatoes and oregano as well. Once it's heated up, it's ready to be served. So to the bento box, we're gonna add the penne, some arugula, which is optional but goes really well with this dish, the pasta sauce, and we're gonna to top it with the pine nuts that we roasted during meal prep because any sprinkle of nuts helps boost protein even more. Then you can garnish with green onions or fresh basil. Next, we're gonna move on to making this protein-packed lentil and quinoa salad, which has a whopping five high-protein sources. Let's see if you can name them. To make the dressing, we're gonna use some water, tahini, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, sambal or other hot sauce, miso paste, and onion powder. Then blend it up, or alternatively, you could whisk it all together in a bowl. Now in a large bowl, we're gonna add the lentils that we pre-cooked, as well as the quinoa, some diced bell pepper, and some edamame. Then we're gonna drizzle on the dressing and toss everything to combine. To our bento box, we're gonna first add some spinach and then top it with a salad mix. Finally, we'll sprinkle on some pumpkin seeds for that extra protein and garnish with some scallions. Combined, these two bento boxes host eight protein-rich ingredients. For meal idea number two, we're gonna make these soba noodles with a barbecue tempeh we made during meal prep. Again, five high-protein sources packed into this meal. We'll begin by cutting the carrots into matchsticks and cutting the ends off some broccolini, although regular broccoli will do as well, and we'll thinly slice some shiitake mushrooms. To make the sauce, we'll use soy sauce, tahini, rice vinegar, agave syrup, freshly grated ginger, garlic, sambal or other hot sauce, sesame oil, and the juice of half a lime, and then blend it until it's smooth. To a wok or large pot on high heat, we'll add some sesame oil and crushed garlic, cooking this for a couple minutes before we add the carrots and mushrooms, allowing this to cook for about five minutes. Meanwhile, we'll cook the soba, which are noodles made from buckwheat, and despite the name, it's actually not a wheat, it's a seed, making it a good source of protein. At the same time, we can add the edamame because they both take just five minutes to cook. Now going back to the wok, we're gonna add in the broccolini, allowing this to cook for a couple minutes more. And when the noodles are done, we're gonna drain it, rinse it, and add this to the wok as well. Then you can pour over the sauce and toss everything to combine. So far, we've got protein sources from the tahini, buckwheat, and edamame, and we're about to add two more. The barbecue tempeh that we made during our meal prep stage, see the previous video if you missed this, and we're also gonna top it with the sesame seeds that we roasted during meal prep as well. Now this can be enjoyed for dinner or packed up for lunch, and I like it a little bit spicy and find it goes really well with some sriracha hot sauce on the side. Now moving on to the other bento box, remember that you can always up your protein intake by adding it to snacks as well. So for example, we made a big batch of hummus that I personally love to enjoy with some fresh veggies. I've also gone ahead and added some Mary's crackers to this because these particular crackers are loaded with different kinds of seeds and this again helps to boost protein. So this concludes bento box number two. Now let's move on to the final meal. For this, we'll begin by making some comforting coconut and red lentil dal, one of my favorite go-to easy to make recipes. We want to ideally rinse and soak the lentils for at least two hours or overnight if possible to help increase protein and other mineral absorption. 
to a pot on high heat, we'll add some oil, onion and garlic, sauteing for about four minutes before we add a diced carrot and some grated ginger, stirring for another couple minutes. And one of my favorite things about dal is all of the comforting spices you can add to it. So for this, we're gonna be using curry powder, turmeric, cumin and paprika. Then we want to dry roast this for a couple minutes, but you can also add water if needed to prevent burning. Then we'll add the soaked lentils, water, a vegetable bouillon cube, and I also added a can of full fat coconut milk. Brought it to a boil, then reduced it to a simmer with a lid partially covered. At this point, we can start cooking the rice, which I pre-soaked, of course, and I also added some cracked cardamom pods, which is optional, I just like the extra flavor it gives. After about 15 minutes, the dal and rice should be done cooking. We enjoy this for dinner at least a couple times a month, and if you make extra, it freezes really well too. Now for the bento, we'll add the rice and dal, and I feel it also goes really well with some fresh coriander. If you'd like to increase the protein even more, you can serve this with quinoa instead of rice. Now for a snack with this bento, we're gonna be using the candied pecans we made during meal prep. It's seriously been one of my favorite go-to snacks lately. I definitely recommend giving this recipe a try. I also serve this on the side with some fresh pineapples and kiwi. So the main protein sources for this bento were the red lentils and the pecans. So that's it, we did it. And these two videos I recognize were extremely information packed. So let's take a quick second to recap. We learned about plant-based protein sources and you know that there's a free PDF that you can download on the Pick Up Limes website. Link for that is in the description box. We learned one key trick that helps to increase protein absorption and that is to soak your beans, lentils, grains, nuts and seeds whenever possible. We reviewed some things that you can make during meal prep to ensure you have high protein ingredients readily on hand. And in this video, we explored a few recipe examples on how to incorporate those ingredients. I really hope that you found these videos helpful and that you learned something new. And if you did, there's no way I know about it unless you share that with me. So let me know by sharing in the comments section below or feel free to give this video a thumbs up. It always means a lot when you do. All right, I think that's everything. Thanks a lot for watching. Pick Up Limes signing off. We'll see you in the next video.